नमस्कार मित्रांनो माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल मध्ये आपले मनापासून स्वागत आम्हाला प्रोत्साहन देण्यासाठी सबस्क्राईब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राईब करून आम्हाला मदत करा म्हणजे आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी घेऊन येऊ जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओ तसेच आमच्या नवीन व्हिडिओ चे नोटिफिकेशन मिळण्यासाठी घंटीच्या चित्रावर क्लिक करा Dear students, lesson number 8, useful and harmful microbes. Important topics in this lesson. Useful microorganisms, lactobacilli, rhizobium, yeast. Harmful microorganisms, clostridium and others. Question number 1, complete the sentences by filling in the blanks and explain those statements. Options, mycotoxins, budding, rhizobium. A. Yeast reproduces asexually by the dash dash method. Budding. Yeast reproduces asexually by the budding method. Explanation, if we observe yeast under a microscope, we will observe some cells may have small round bodies attached to them. These are new daughter cells of yeast in the process of formation. This method of asexual reproduction is called budding. Hence, yeast reproduces asexually by the budding method. B. Toxins of fungal origin are called dash dash. Answer, mycotoxins. Toxins of fungal origin are called mycotoxins. Explanation, various species of fungi grow on food items. They use the nutrients in these food items for growth and reproduction. During this activity, fungi release certain poisonous chemicals into the food and thus food becomes poisonous. Hence toxins of fungal origin are called mycotoxins. C. Leguminous plants can produce more proteins due to dash dash. Answer, rhizobium. Leguminous plants can produce more proteins due to rhizobium. Explanation: Rhizobia produce nitrogenous compounds from atmospheric nitrogen. However, for this process of nitrogen fixation, they need leguminous plants as host. Leguminous plants are rich in proteins due to the nitrogenous compounds made available by rhizobia. Question 2 write the names of microbes found in following food materials yogurt bread root nodules of leguminous plant idli dosa spoiled potato curry answer yogurt lactobacilli bread yeast root nodules of leguminous plant rhizobium idli yeast dosa yeast spoiled potato curry Clostridium. Question 3 Identify the odd word out and say why it is odd one. A. Pneumonia, diphtheria, chicken pox, cholera. Answer, chicken pox. Chicken pox is caused by virus and other are caused by bacteria. B. Lactobacilli, rhizobia, yeast, clostridia. Answer, yeast. Yeast is fungus arrest or bacteria. C. Root rot, rust, tumbera, rubella, mosaic, rubella. Rubella is viral disease of humans whereas rest are diseases of plant. Question 4 Give scientific reasons. A. Foam accumulates on nay the surface of all kept for a long time in summer. Answer. 1. All or any food item which is kept open for long time collects the growth of microbes. 2. While obtaining nutrients from the food, microbes release gases as byproducts. 3. These gases form foam on the surface of foodstuffs having more water content. Hence, foam accumulates on surface of the all kept for long time in summer. B. Why are naphthalene balls kept with clothes to be put away? Answer. 
1. Naphthalene inhabits the growth of fungi and bacteria. 2. It also has strong characteristic odor due to which it is used as insect repellent. Hence, naphthalene balls kept with clothes to be put away in order to prevent unwanted microbial growth. Question 5 Write down the modes of infection and preventive measures against fungal diseases. Answer Name of disease dandruff, ringworm, scabies, pathogen fungi. Mode of infection Contact with infected person or his slash her belongings like clothes. Preventive measures Personal hygiene, avoiding contact with infected person. Question 6 Match the following. Answers Rhizobium, nitrogen fixation, Clostridium, food poisoning, Penicillium, production of antibiotics, Yeast, bakery products. Question number 7, answer the following questions. A. Which vaccines are given to infants? Why? Answer. 1. The vaccines given to infants are polio vaccine, MMR, measles, mumps rubella vaccine, hepatitis vaccine, BCG vaccine, DPT, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, vaccines, influenza vaccine. 2. These vaccines are given to infants according a specific immunization schedule, to strengthen the immune response of infants against specific diseases. B. How is a vaccine produced? Answer. A vaccine is a biological preparation. It provides active acquired immunity to a particular disease. A vaccine typical Y contains an agent that resembles a disease-causing microorganism and is often made from weakened or killed forms of the microbe, its toxins, or one of its surface proteins. C. How do antibiotics cure disease? Answer. 1. Antibiotics are obtained from some bacteria and fungi for destroying or preventing the growth of harmful microorganisms. 2. Antibiotics cure disease by inhibiting the vital process in bacteria, killing the disease-causing bacteria or stopping them from multiplying. D. Are the antibiotics given to humans and animals the same? Why? Answer. 1. Majority of antibiotics given to humans and animals are same. 2. If the disease-causing bacteria is same in animals and humans are same then antibiotics are given in specific dose according to their respective weight. E. Why is it necessary to safely store the pathogens of a disease against which vaccines are to be produced? Answer. 1. Pathogens are harmful disease-causing microorganisms. 2. If these pathogens are released in air accidentally, then they may spread to various places and can cause diseases even before the necessary vaccine is available. Therefore, it is necessary to safely store the pathogens of a disease against which vaccines are to be produced. Question 8 Answer the following questions in brief. A. What are broad-spectrum antibiotics? Answer. 1. Antibiotics which are useful against wide variety of bacteria they are known as broad-spectrum antibiotics. 2. These antibiotics are used when th e pathogen cannot be identified even though the symptoms of disease in an individual are visible. 3. Examples ampicillin, amoxicillin, tetracycline, etc. B. What is fermentation? Answer. 1. A chemical process in which one type of carbon compound is converted in other type of carbon compound by the action of microorganisms is known as fermentation. 2. Heat is generated in this process and carbon dioxide and other gases are released. 
3. Fermentation is used to make yogurt, alcohol from grains and fruits, bread, vitamins and antibiotics lactic acid, etc. C. Define antibiotic. Answer. 1. Carbon compounds obtained from some bacteria and fungi for destroying or preventing the growth of harmful microorganisms are called antibiotic. 2. Antibiotics mainly act against bacteria. Some antibiotics can destroy protozoa. 3. Some antibiotics are useful against a wide variety of bacteria whereas some act against specific pathogenic microorganisms. नमस्कार मित्रांनो माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल मध्ये आपले मनापासून स्वागत आम्हाला प्रोत्साहन देण्यासाठी सबस्क्राइब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राइब करून आम्हाला मदत करा म्हणजे आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी घेऊन येऊ जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओज तसेच आमच्या नवीन व्हिडिओचे नोटिफिकेशन मिळण्यासाठी घंटीच्या चित्रावर क्लिक करा